That was good. Uh, high flying energy. Um, a lot of, lot of good speed out there. Um, that's what we're looking for. You know, we want to make sure, you know, when we go for it and we're, we're extending our periods, we take advantage um, with everybody running after the ball. So got to watch the film to make sure everybody was running. Um, but it felt good. It felt like the energy was there on um, both sides. Uh, some, ex some good execution on both sides um, for sure. Another great day weather-wise. I mean, we have just been blessed. I know some, sometimes games come down to skills. Sometimes the ball just got to bounce your way, and it seemed like it bounced our way this week. So, uh, but, of course, that's me. I'm always looking for, for something good to happen. Um, and, uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, really, really just impressed with the, uh, the mechanics, the operation, getting the calls in, getting lined up. Uh, we didn't have any issues there, so I'm always looking for that, just for the operation to feel like a game. And it, we were certainly under the uh, restraints of the play clock, which was great. Um, and it was great to get some one-on-one -on -one shots down there uh, earlier in the red zone to see guys compete and see, see who we can count on to come up with the ball and to make the plays. Um, questions? Dave, uh, with the wide receiver background that you have, we've made a lot about Deontay and Adam and yeah. even but what are you seeing from the competition behind those guys over the last several practices? Man, you see Mingo, uh, Terrace Marshall, really showing who they are. Uh, David Moore, you throw the ball that his way, he comes up with it. Um, you know, so I've really seen those guys come through and, and, and when we can depend on them, you know. So it's a, it's a really good room. It's a really good competition. Some different style of players. Amir making some nice plays today. Um, so it's something that we're counting on, right? We talk about, you know, creating that competition and challenging every position. And that's exactly what we want. We want to make sure everybody's pursuing their best. They're not looking left and right. They're just focusing on their, on their execution. And, and we're getting good execution out of those guys right now. You had what a guy last year, and I'm mean, afraid you had last year, Devin Tompkins. Yeah. Um, he also had some off the field issues for a while. Can you tell me what you guys looked into regarding that? Yeah. What you found out, and what was the decision in signing him? Yeah, we, we had to be patient. You know, we had to wait for the league to process it before they can give us a, a green light on it. I have experience with, with Devin. I know what he can do as a football player. He was certainly just a great energy guy, um, really bought into what we were doing in Tampa. You know, So you know, we did our due diligence on that part, and, and I'm excited to get him in here. He's another kick returner as well. He's got some explosive elements to his play, so really fun. Uh, brings a different style of guy. We got a really big, strong group, which I love. Uh, but it's also good to have those change of pace guys You know, that can, uh, that can attack the defense a different way. Dave, just given the... Uh, Fallout with Adrian Wilson recently. Did that give you guys pause on Devin, and did the team conduct its own investigation? Those were separate. Those were separate incidents uh, from. So as we were looking at it, you know, they were just different things, and I don't want to get too much into it. I know those are, those are all, you know, things that the league had to talk through and work through. So the team did not do its own investigation. I, I'm not sure about that. I can tell you that. Yeah. Dave. Can you tell us something about the development of Bryce Young and how does he feel actually with the team, with yeah. Adam? Yeah. yeah. Looked like they were together for quite a long time and yeah. they look like they match. Yeah, so for Bryce, again, it's just getting comfortable with our offense, our plays. He seems to be very comfortable with what we're doing. The execution part of it, that's the part where he'll be critical on, on some of the little things he might have missed. Um, but he had some really good throws today. And again, uh, the encouraging part is just getting the whole offense going so it feels right. You know, it's, there's a flow to it. Um, and it feels really smooth right now. So I'm really excited about that. And every day, every day he gets a little bit better. And that's the goal, is to just try to improve one day at a time. What does Ture bring to the defense? Oh, just another uh, another veteran player, talented pass rusher, versatility, first, second, and third down. Um, a guy that we've seen play just around the league, you know, the last couple of years. So I'm um, really excited to get him in the fold and challenge that group. When do you expect to, I didn't, you didn't get much run today. When do you expect to get him in? We'll, we're, we'll keep an eye on that. You know, we'll get him out there, run a little bit, just making sure when we when we don't have guys for a whole spring and we don't have a real, you know, true litmus test of their conditioning, we want to make sure we see them, prove it to us that they're ready physically to get a part of it. Plus, just catching up on the on the wording. Dave, uh, there there have been you know, like from the outside looking in, there have been concerns about cornerback. It seems like yeah. Troy Hill, DiCaprio Boodle, some of those guys are really stepping up over the last week. What have you seen conversely? as opposed to the wide receiver group? Um, yeah, just another group of guys who see opportunity, right? And so um, just from a sheer number standpoint, what a great opportunity for them to, to get in there and make the most of their plays. You know, Dane had a 
incredible interception today. Um, you know, on a boot play, that was fantastic. You know, so showing his stuff, you know, JC put another good solid day together. Um, but Deshaun, DiCaprio, uh, Troy, Lamar Jackson made some nice plays in one-on-ones. Um, so it's really good. The, the, the group is starting to shape, you know, and we just need more football. We need more plays, more opportunities to evaluate guys playing the ball when they get their, when they get their shots. If I call up, uh, JC, Obviously participated quite a bit, and then yeah. DiCaprio kind of replaced him with the first team. Yeah. Is that like a pitch count or so there's a, something? Or yeah, something? yeah, by design. You know, just um, he had a great day uh, two days ago. Some some of his highest speeds, you know, that, that he's had. Um, and so with that, we just want to make sure we're smart about just continuing that flow. This is still an, uh, an acclimation period. You know, so we're really trying to take advantage of that and make sure that he's we continue to ramp him up so he's ready to go. Is it important for, to, for you guys to be in pads on Monday? Uh, not on Monday um, or whatever day the next first practice is. It'll be the following. And then we'll have two padded practices within, a, within about three days there. So that'll be a good physical challenge for the guys um, to get that first padded day and then follow it up pretty quickly with another one. It's great for them to have to challenge themselves with the soreness. You know, can I stay focused? Can I, can I execute my assignment knowing my body is really starting to feel, you know, the challenge and the rigors of camp. So looking forward to that. Dave, how would you assess the interior offensive line at this point? Obviously, the pads haven't come on yet. But yeah. Where, where would you say that group's at right now? I'm really happy with where they're at right now. With Damian, Austin, and Robert, you know, just right up in the middle. Um, you can feel it in the run game. There's good lateral movement when we need it. There's good vertical push when we need it. The pocket stays firm on the inside, you know. Um, so I'm really excited about those three just communicating and working together. And Austin specifically, um, obviously uh, snapping the ball this, off, this uh, preseason. What, what have you seen from him specifically? Yeah, just good command. Good command of the center position, and he's he's as much a part of the offense running smoothly as Bryce. You know, as they go up there, they make their calls, they get everything started on a good foot, and then just the timing in which we do it and how we communicate it, I'm really excited about. Just the, the way that he's able to recognize things quickly. Do you, do you have any big picture observations about the defense, even though there's no tackling? Oh, just the scheme that I love and hate hated before. I mean, it's just, it's really suffocating. They, they play their leverages so well. They're in position to challenge your passes. There just aren't a lot of freebies. You know, if we catch, if we catch a ball wide open in our defense, you know, schematically we created something. But for the most part, the communication that happens up front, the communication in the back half with the safeties, linebackers, and the corners, you know, they're passing stuff off really at a high clip. It goes back to some of the veteran guys that we have there at the safety positions being able to get us in the right spots. Troy Hill knows the system like the back of his hand, um, and it's great for the younger guys to be able to see what it takes to play this defense at a high level. I'm really encouraged by that. Same thing I said about the offensive line up front. On the other side of the ball, between Ashan, Shai, and Derek, I mean, that's a really formidable interior of the defensive line. So there's been some really good battles over the last couple of days. Take a couple more. You've got a, a tight end room that's starting to get a little crowded at another this week. Yeah. They've all kind of had their moment in practice at least once this week, too. What can they do to kind of set themselves apart as decisions have to get made? What do you want to see? Yeah, execution. Um, we put a lot on those guys' plate. I would say, you know, quarterback definitely has the most. Tight ends probably right behind that because of their connection to the run game, pass game, and pass protection. So we really ask them to do a lot. So we're looking for that, can we count on you with all the things that we're going to ask you to do. Um, and then beyond that, you know, when we get into situational football, third downs, um, when we get into our two-minute drives, really looking to see who can be a viable target for Bryce, for Andy, you know, as we get through camp and, and they get those opportunities. Who's going to come up with those plays? Because um, that'll be a specialty spot, you know, for somebody to be able to, to gravitate towards. Dave, Dave that, that position of uh, bringing Franks in, is that an indication Tommy might be out for a little bit? It was the same like we talked about the other day with our plan. You know, if, if we're gonna if we're gonna get Tommy fully healthy, then we really had to shut him down. And there's a with every positional group, the strength of the group is the number. So the minute one person goes down, while his eight to twelve reps get distributed 
with the rest of the group. And so the tight end position in, in particular is a very physical position. And this is one that we always try to have about six guys as we go through camp, um, just so that we can have those legs and, and keep those guys strong and healthy to be able to, to stay out there. So um, that was a big part of it. And Felipe did a great job you know, in his workout. So he impressed us. And, and uh, we're excited to see what he can do. Dave, right, just try to get clarity on when you're putting on pads. Is going to be practices after Clemson? No, I, I don't. I can't think of the. I'm just thinking in terms of numbers of practices. Well, the players have a day off tomorrow. We'll come back and we'll have another shell practice, and then we'll start to get into our pads after that, um, and we'll start to be really smart about how we space that in. So, um, you want me to mention anything else about that? Clemson, are we good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting the other players in. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.